<clears throat> Hi, this is Eugene. Um, I just want to share what I've learned from my mentor. Um, it's gonna be another medium length video. Um, my mentor's name is Ice Kang, and he's teaching sales, business, training, marketing, and he's a business coach. And he's training people to make money and be successful and gain the financial freedom. And I'm so grateful to be part of his class. Um, since I last joined him in the month of August, at the end of the month, last year, um, my life changed 360%, 360 degrees. Um, and I'm so grateful um, that I'm having him as my mentor. So, um, and he's the reason why I started my YouTube video. Um, before I thought that I would have never thought of me doing this. Um, I thought those YouTubers or somebody who's making YouTubes, um, they will be just crazy people. Um, but here I am, I'm doing the YouTube and I'm not crazy. So, I, or I may be crazy, but it's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, anyways, um, let's see. What notes do I have for the day? <clears throat> um, he said that uniqueness is not necessarily the same as specialty. Um... I will repeat one more time. Uniqueness is not necessarily the same as specialty. Um, so for example, if you are looking for a content, creating content online, creating content on YouTube, you don't have to be a specialized personnel. Uh, let's say car mechanic, computer genius, something like that, or horticulture major. Um, somebody who's very knowledgeable in one specific area, of course they can do their YouTubes, but you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a specialty. Um, uniqueness is not the same as specialty. And in order to do the YouTube, you just have to be unique. That's all there is to it. That's why anyone can start YouTube. If you're hesitant to start your own YouTube, I encourage you to also start YouTube because um, YouTube is a very good way to um, do your personal branding. Um, brandize yourself and create your image. Um, and my mentor said it's going to be your... Um, it's going to act like your resume um, in the near future. It's already acting like that. If you already know the field, you would know. It's already acting like your um, electronic resume or electronic or live resume. Um, so, <coughs> excuse me. So anyways, if you are hesitant about starting YouTube, you can do something like me. You know, you can just start like five minutes or one minute. It doesn't matter. Um, not a lot of people are interested in you. So you don't have to be scared of starting it. That's how I did. And right now I have like 10 subscribers. I want to thank you for subscribing my YouTube channel. And I think that the reason why you're subscribing my YouTube is to really just to support me. Uh, look at this girl. Um, she's doing something. Um, it looks like she doesn't know so much, but like she shares and she seems like a good person. I want to support her. So I want to genuinely um, thank you for supporting me and being a subscriber. Anyways, that's why anybody can start YouTube and creating content online. Um... I think everybody should start YouTube, like my mentor said. 
Um, like I said, nobody's going to be interested in you. So you don't have to be scared. In other words, you don't have to be scared. Um, one thing though, for me, with me, I didn't tell anybody that I'm doing YouTube that I know. So it would have... Um, that was just my choice, but it was easier for me to start YouTube because I didn't tell anybody. Nobody knows that I'm doing YouTube. The people that I know, they don't know. So my 10 subscribers, um, some of them probably, I don't know who is my 10 subscriber. I don't know. But um, many of them will be just anonymous people that I never came across um i've never come across um the people that i don't know so um i know i think it's better if you start that way because um it's better to start quietly um and you can really start over you can really start from the zero um, because a lot of times, um, you're in the image, you're trapped in the image that you already, whether you noticed it or not noticed, you created for yourself all along this time, you're trapped in that image and it's hard, hard, hard to break that image of yourself. Um, because it's been how long that you've lived your life that so far and um you're you lived in the image whether you like it or not you're in that image and people have perceptions about you um from the time that they knew about you they have uh they have this image of you oh she's that this this or that person um she's gonna be like this even if you changed even if you are the one who really noticed that you are changed you're a different version of yourself People will still see it. People will still see you in that image that they created for you. They already have that perception of you. And it's really, really hard, almost impossible to break it. So if you really want to break up that image and create, recreate your image and rebrand brandize yourself, then I strongly recommend to start something quietly without them knowing. <laughs> Just get into the pool of group of people uh, in the community that you want to be like them and let nobody know. Don't let anybody know that you're doing something until you show, show them the results um, of who you become. Um, until then, just do it quietly. Yeah. Anyways, um, I just went through um i'm just gonna talk about <coughs> that's i just went through my thought that's something that i've been thinking about it for a while um yeah what oh yeah so anybody can start youtube so you should also start youtube i highly recommend and when you do so you can do it quietly without letting without um letting anybody know who knows you um, it's easier to break up your image and recreate your new version of yourself than constantly going back and forth and trapped in the image <clears throat> and worrying about how people will see you, the people that already know you, how people, how those people will see you. So anyways, um, so you just have to be unique, which you are already. Um, you just have to do it. And you just have to explore it and see how you're progressing. Um, if you notice that from the time that I've started my YouTube, my YouTube really didn't, um, my YouTube wasn't that good. <laughs> my skills, like right now, I don't have skills either, I would say, compared to those grandiose YouTubers. But I've gotten so much better and I've gotten more, become more elegant <laughs> in a way. Um, I've gotten more brighter. Um, I'm learning how to talk 
in the image that I created for myself, in the image that I want to live, um, in the image that I want to create for myself. And I'm finding, I'm trying to find the tone. I can only do it as I keep trying, as I keep making videos. Um, that's the only way. Um, so I know that I made a huge progress from the beginning I started my YouTube and now it's very different. And I know I will make more progress along the way if as long as I don't give up on making these YouTube videos. Um, so watch me grow over time. Mindset challenge. That's my motto for my YouTube. Literally, that's it. So, yeah. Uniqueness is not necessarily the same as specialty. You don't have to be having that special skills to start your YouTube. You are good as who you are. You are unique as who you are. So you can do it now. Um. Anyways, okay, let's see. And then my mentor, he also talked about um, Trump and Obama example. Um, by any mean, my mentor and my myself also, the reason why I'm bringing this up is not me being politically prone to any side. I don't really have any thought about Trump or Obama specifically. Um, but I'm just sharing this example because my mentor shared this example and I think there's a learning um, point from it. So this is what I wrote down. Um, <coughs> so for example, Trump and Obama. Um, Trump became the president and he's a businessman. But Obama became the president. He's a black um, so either way, it was a big issue. I mean, big, big thing in the history of the United States of America. Um, Obama, however, he's not a businessman. His so if you were to think about it, um, for example, if they were in the situation where they have to negotiate the deals with the China, with China. Then who do you think would be most suitable for doing that negotiation deal? Obama or Trump? Trump, right? Because Trump has many, many experiences with business because he himself is a businessman, successful businessman. So he knows how to deal. He knows how to negotiate um, compared to Obama who doesn't know. He doesn't have that experience. Um, my mentor said um, Trump became the president. Um, the job opportunities grew up. But when Obama was president, the job opportunities decreased. So um, it's just an example. Um, why was he talking about this? Actually, I forgot. If I remember, I'll get back to it in another video. <laughs> but I wrote that down. Um, and that's interesting um, to think about. Yeah. For somebody like me, I didn't really have any interest in politics. I feel bad to say, but I really didn't have any interest in politics by whatsoever. So... Um, it was interesting to me. Anyways, if I find a reason why I wrote this down, I thought I would, I think I was trying to connect it with some conclusion, but I didn't write that down, so I don't remember. If I ever remember that, I will get back to you in another video. Okay, and then I also said, fill your numbers, fill your quantities, that's your homework. That's what my mentor was saying. Um, so quantities over qualities. I said it in the short um, that quantities over qualities, right? You will not be able to have qualities at all if you are beginning something. Your quality will be miserable. Your quality will suck. There's no quality in what you're doing. Just don't expect it. 
I'm also reminding myself there's no quality in my videos when I first started it but as I make more and more videos my video content is getting better I see that um, it's not to the point where I'm expert I am best but I made huge progress from the time and now so when you first start something um, you're gonna be you're gonna suck you're not gonna you're gonna you're not gonna be good <clears throat> that's just it. way is it it is right so you in other words you shouldn't be focusing on qualities because then you're wasting your time to do that you're gonna take hours and hours to do one quality thing to begin with there's no such thing to do it because you're gonna just waste your time right think about it if you just if like for example like if i do youtube right um uh, my mentor this is all from my mentor by the way my mentor said think about it if you do youtube and you would want to have the best quality ever for your youtube video every single video that you post on then you will take three hours four hours five hours the whole day it takes up your whole day to do that single 10 minutes 20 minutes youtube video to make the best maybe you would have gotten very good quality video but how long can you how long does it last can you have consistency with it can you do it every day no and over time you're you're gonna be slow progressing and you're gonna be giving up already it's just a waste of time and energy rather than that you have to focus on quantities you have to make a lot of videos and you have to be consistent then as you go you will learn and you um, adjust and you mix match and you um, fix things along the way and you try another way right away faster results faster um, change faster results so that's why you have to focus on quantities than qualities according to my mentor Aiskang yeah so fill your numbers fill your quantities that's your homework yeah um, let's see and also said my end point will be somebody who is able to communicate really well so the reason why I'm doing my YouTube is all because of my mentor Aiskang I don't necessarily know all the benefits that he's seeing I only see what I mentor <coughs> told me to do YouTube so that's why I'm doing my YouTube it's also for record keeping for myself it's gonna be my history keeping record of my progress however the main reason why I'm starting my YouTube is because of my mentor but that doesn't mean that I understand 100% what he's saying but I'm just doing because I know what he's saying will be huge benefit to me so um so but he said that my end point will be somebody who is able to communicate really well i cannot 100 percent understand what he's seeing but i kind of understand to a degree of this saying that um the more i practice speaking in front of you with youtube i will be better off with my speaking sp skills um I'm already getting a little little better better um uh i'm trying i'm getting better at finding my tone um a voice like my unique voice um yeah anyways that's that's what it is my end point will be somebody who is able to communicate really well um and also lastly he said this was from his youtube video um he said that five minutes rule um if you cannot do an hour each day basically i'm just elaborating he didn't really exactly say the way that i said it but i'm elaborating in my own way um just so you know he said that if you cannot do an hour let's say you cannot do an hour of something that you should be doing you feel that you should be doing an hour of something then you just do five minutes 
but you have to be consistent every day or I don't know every morning every night every twice a day whatever habit routine that you fix um, you have to do five minutes of each time consistently um, and other times you can have fun you can still have fun but you should always remember doing that five minutes um, it's going back to quantities over qualities right so consistency consistency over quantities over qualities is that is that it i think so or maybe consistency goes along with quantities or consistency is the same as quantities i don't know anyways yeah that's what i got from my mentor for the day and yeah um let's see yeah that's it um i was thinking that um let's all be winners <laughs> Let's all be winners and let's not be with losers. Um, let's all be winners. We can do this. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys have a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye now.